So we're going to take a look at symmetry and how to use that to create an object much faster. And also uh, when we are going to duplicate using symmetry, we're going to duplicate all of these construction constraints right here. Uh, when I say all of them, I mean all of them, and it'll duplicate all the dimensions. So we're going to just go ahead and be okay with that, and we're going to delete the extra stuff at the end. So we're going to go up to, I'm in the sketch right now, you can tell because i got the sketch palette right here. I'm going to go to mirror, and when you do a mirror, you need to select two things. There's the objects you want to reflect, and then the mirror line, which has to be a line, and it's the line you're going to reflect across. So I'm selecting the objects now, I'm going to get everything except I want to reflect it across this vertical line here. So what I do is I hold down control on the keyboard and click and that should deselect it. If you did something by accident you can control click again reselect, control click again and deselect. So that's everything I'm going to copy. Now my mirror line is the left line right there. So that puts everything uh, on the other side as a mirror image. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for the bottom half of the hockey rink. So you can hit OK, and we're going to select everything again, and we're going to go to Mirror. Uh, it already kept my selection of everything, but I don't want to duplicate. There's now actually two horizontal lines. So here's my original. I'm Control clicking to deselect, Control click again, deselect. And now when I go to Mirror, you can only choose one mirror line, and it doesn't matter which one you choose. Uh, I'm just going to go with the one on the left, and there we go there's our entire hockey rink duplicated and as you can tell there's a whole lot of these mirror image uh, construction marks right here and there's also a whole bunch of dimensions and I'm gonna delete all of those and I'm not gonna cover how to do dimensions in this video that was already done so okay get that out of there so what I'm gonna show next normally you just do a box select and just drag a box select everything no problem but right now I want to specifically delete things. So I'm going to go down to selection filters. Right now it's select all uh, and I don't want to get all. What I really want to uh, select, I want to remove the dimensions. You do need to put dimensions on at the end on certain parts. Uh, the other thing I want to remove is... Oh no, I thought about this earlier. Whew. Dimensions... Can looking for constraints and talking to myself sketch geometry constraint perfect alright there we go so when I now draw my box you'll see that it didn't get any of the lines circles all the other stuff it got only the constraints and whatever else I had selected 10 seconds ago I hit delete and now all that stuff's gone and now I basically just have the geometry that I can then uh, start to enter dimensions of course shortcut is D for dimension and you can start doing your measurements. I'll go that line to that line, put it up here, uh, etc., etc. Hopefully, this helps you uh, build some symmetric objects more quickly.